Det bliver jo ej, det bliver jeg, bliver jeg Det bliver jo ej. The cattle stood and watched the Patriot column come. The riders rough in the saddle, some in uniform and even trailing caissons filled with huge guns. And these super patriots were not interested in the cattle, and they were not in the least like the last white men who'd come before. Cowboys with their rasping night fires, harmonicas, yodels, and boots laid out toward the doggies, and the cowboys' blankets the doggies nosed into in the day. And the cattle were as disinterested in proud nationhood as the rough riders were in a hay. But when they returned in the spring of 1888, they were astonished to find the carcasses of cattle in the branches of trees. And they wondered how such a thing could happen. They didn't know that during the winter, a blizzard had struck so swiftly and violently that people had frozen yards from their homes. And school children were stranded returning from the schoolhouse. Animals had blindly struggled up snowdrifts into the branches of trees. Let's listen to the wanderings of a doggie through the day of January the 12th of 1888. And let's listen as he hears the bittersweet lament of the treed Angus. I want to sleep before I fall. I want to sleep, but I just saw. Mrs. Peterson froze into a road. A wagon creaks. Mother calls. Children are lost. Russian shawls. I saw a man whirl and give up hope. Long after the last. No fairy when that snow begins to melt And I'll no longer have to worry about Theodore Roosevelt Blankets warm as cowboy ballads Upon the Dakota ground White wind, the little doggie heard the sound of shattering wood and followed it to where he could see an orange light. He made his way up a bank of ice and saw two men frozen. No, not frozen. One with an axe, the other with a lantern. The doggie kept his distance and let the men work. The men looked down as though the earth below them wasn't the earth at all, and then it wasn't. And the doggie realized they were standing on the frozen roof of a barn. He was astonished as the first man dropped the axe down into white nothing, then crouched, hunkered, and was half gone, then was gone altogether. The other man waited, looked for the first time at the doggie, then looked down and yelled. Then he too crouched, hunkered, half disappeared, and disappeared altogether. The doggie waited and approached. He looked down into the dark hole and was astonished again to see the whole light with candlelight with the men below standing among the animals looking up at him. He looked down and thought, thought and looked down, listened at them yelling at him, and felt the unbelievably icy wind on his ass and jumped down, down into the stacked hay. He limped up and made his way around the living world. Soon after the last snow flurry, when that snow began, to melt and I, I'll no longer have to worry about Theodore Roosevelt Blankets warm as cowboy balance on the Dakota ground 